Fuck, but we've spelled it a really kooky way. There's three K's, <laughs> three K's at the end. A real <laughs> like, kooky whoa, way. Whoa, 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 whoa there. Yeah. It's really going to, um, you know, it's going to narrow the market quite a bit. <laughs> Like, Where was this produced? Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we have Bevo, as always. Nick Ooh. Elliott is back. I'm and, back. And we've got the Cookie Monster, Mr. Cookie. Wayne Peoples. What up? Thank How you. Going? Thank you. Thanks, I'm good, dog. Thanks for coming back. He's wearing um, blue, yeah, too. Thanks. thanks for having me, man. Just chilling, nigga. Yeah, oh, man. After the last one. I felt like I had um, been in some sort of boxing match after. I was sore from laughing after the last one. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah. I was too. Yeah. I felt like um, I had Botox in my face because it was just stuck. <laughs> I um, I haven't actually like – because they, they haven't – well, by the time you listen to this, they're, they're out, but they're not out yet in real time. Mm. Yeah. So I um, I haven't heard them really. So oh. now, now it's like – Oh no! I feel like there might have been some dangerous things said. I so look forward to <laughs> you dropping the n bomb. Oh, t- <laughs> dude, <laughs> discussing whether we beep that out or not. No, no, no. I will, Mate. I will hunt all of you down if you do. <laughs> I, I, I said last week. Every time Bevo sends me a song, going, we need to do this. You know, there's just going to be n bombs getting dropped left, right, oh. and center through it. He loves it. I mean, I, honestly, I did it super intentionally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. And then uh, I was like, um, okay, we need to see, how does this fly here? Like, Wayne said it was cool to do it that one time, but is, does that mean we're allowed oh, to yeah, do it all the time episode. now? And I'm like, no, no, I uh, can't do it. I can't do no, it. <laughs> normally, normally black cards last for about a 24-hour period. Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, you need to be in the vicinity. <laughs> You've got to fill standard. in a declaration form three days before. Uh, no, no, no. You had uh, Wade, proof that you had contact uh, with me within the last 24 hours. There's contact <laughs> tracing for using the N-word. Yeah. <laughs> I've got proof. <laughs> so back up, niggers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on this podcast yeah, anymore. I know. Yeah. That's just what they want to hear some Australian dude right. who lives basically in the bush saying to people. That's what you want. Oh, goodness. Um, At least you're being honest about it. Well, what sake. are you going to do? It's happened. Mm. It's happened now. Um, as you'll all hear, Dan's not here. He died, our old host. Um, but pretty funny way he went out. You want to know how he went out? Mm. Yes, please. Um, food poisoning. That's not funny. That's a horrible thing to get. But he, he got it from a mouldy pie. Mm. <laughs> That'll do it. Mm. Yep. Died. What, what kind of pie, I wonder? I don't know. Mould. Bacon and cheese and bacon? I don't know. It was old, obviously. He shouldn't have been eating it. Now he's dead. Pepper steak, I'm betting. Mm, pepper yeah. steak. What did he pepper. mold out of it? Well, it was a mold of his knife. Dick. <laughs> knife. Yeah. <laughs> knife. <laughs> That's not a Steve Irwin. This is a Steve Irwin. I don't know. I, should, I, sh- I shouldn't have done that. I'm it's sorry. A national, it's a national treasure, Wayne. <laughs> Bindi, come here. Yeah. You can't say I that. Stab, I stab every stingray I see now. Oh, yeah. Just, just to get back for bloody the crocodile hunter. Um, okay, let's get into the lyrics for Starstruck. Uh, now, this there's two versions of this. I'm going with the, technically it's the remix featuring Katy Perry. Uh, Fantastic. Okay, so I just want to clarify because I know there's going to be a lot of 303 fans out there that are like, no, that's the remix, not the original. Just I'm mm. sorry. Yeah. Me. Okay. What do you reckon those 303 yeah. fans are called? What's their name? Fuckwits. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> like, All right, fuckwits, dance. <laughs> bap, 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 bap. Our fans, our fuckwits, they're the true fuckwits. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. These two look like a bunch of fuckwits, though, so wouldn't surprise me. All right, the first verse. Nice legs, Daisy Dukes, make a man go whistling. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. That's what it says. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, That's the way they all come through, like, whistling. <laughs> <laughs> 
quissoing. Wheat uh, woo. Wheat woo, wheat woo. Low cut, see through shirts that make ya. <whistles> That's the way she comes through like. Uh, I know you're a big fan of the whistle, Bevo, so kick me off here. <laughs> Look, spoiler alert, this song's a fucking 10. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, much, so much whistling. Yeah. Oh, it's so fucked. much whistling. I hate um, it so much. But is the whistling the medley? Like, is is that what it is? Are we talking about the melody here for the for the whistling? It's more just a little effect. I yeah, thought you don't like whistling I, melodies. It's worse for effect, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. The bloody goalposts keep moving with you, mate. Um, <laughs> righto. Well, does this just seem like two dudes harassing women in a park? It's what it, yeah. Like. And that's the video as well. Well, that's the video, but that's what this whole just is like, what we're just pointing out, like chicks that walk past and then <sighs> whistling at them. <laughs> Like, the only thing that was missing was like hard hats in a construction site. Basically, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's true. I think maybe if you're wearing a suit, you can get away with doing this. Y- yeah, you're more respectable. Sorry, yeah, I yeah. actually have money. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got waivers you can sign before we sleep together. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, right. Yeah. And just me as well. <laughs> Daisy Dukes are gone well out of fashion. Isn't that just yes. short shorts? Yeah. yeah. What yeah. do you mean yeah. they're out of fashion? Oh, it's winter anyway, but <laughs> no, 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 no. you're getting no, around the wrong no, no. spot. You can no one's wearing those anymore. Uh, they they haven't gone out of fashion in my dreams. <laughs> There's postcodes <laughs> where you'll see some short shorts, mate. Yeah, um, I've got, I've gone through the whole theory, my whole theory on postcodes and whether people are day rooters or night rooters. Have I? No. Is this no, a, please no? do. No. What's this? It it's something I've been working on for a long time, but um. It's basically a theory I've got that you can go on postcodes and you'll figure out whether or not the chicks that live in those postcodes like to route during the day or the night. And it's, you can basically really narrow it down to this. So uh, originally it was a high school thing. So you'd be like, mm-hmm. Yeah, you I'll need to impar- explain this in great so- detail because I'm very intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, used just, it used to be like, where do I need to move? So, <laughs> Kayama, like two five three three, mm-hmm. n- night routers, not keen to route in the day. It's just a thing. Go oh, to so fucking binary. Dapto, two five three zero baby park. <laughs> Love a day route. Mm. Yeah right. I mean, I meant, um, more how, more how research needs Fonte? to be done. But... <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. I don't know where these guys are hanging out, but. They must think there's day rooters about. That's all I'm saying. Has to uh, be. Do you know? Do you know what I call it? I what? call it afternoon delight. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bit of whistling in that delight. song too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 do you make the sound effects and everything? <laughs> no. no I, I outsource for that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Yeah, we're basically going through the all the things they like, the Daisy Dukes, um, the low-cut see-through shirts. Seems like it's just, you know, right for the picking out there for these two two young gentlemen. But don't uh, objectify them, though. You can't do that. Well, no, no. I think no. The, wh- the whistling is more like, no, no, uh, don't look at them. Like, <laughs> go. Keep yourself keep walking, in check. Keep walking. <laughs> You might it's get like harassed. a rehab safe word, <laughs> you know. Remind yeah. yourself, oh, look away. You're stronger than this. <laughs> Actually, it might be them. Like, it might be a rape whistle. <laughs> 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 like, nice legs, Daisy Dukes, Mason Mango. It's like, <laughs> oh, not again! Not again! Or if that was part of the video, they just were holding it, and then they just edited it out. Like, yeah, it doesn't work. The whole rape thing. We need to go no. a different way with this, fellas. Yeah, just, just act like you want it. Did, yeah. Did you Did you guys hear about my question about rape whistles uh, in England no. on the podcast that Mike and I do? Oh, so tell me. So, tell me. 
I'll ask you guys. So, are rape whistles still a thing in England in the UK? I mean, are they still a thing? Uh, like you think they would be, right? Well, it makes can't sense. Say, can't say I've ever had one blown against me, so I don't know. Well, that well, you're ahead <laughs> of most. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Bevo. I know, another, another guy thing... hasn't had a whistle blown at him. <laughs> <laughs> but another thing that like the cops use in, in England, um. <laughs> They like cops use a whistle to like sound the alarm that a crime is being committed. But they're the so, cops. Yeah, but is 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 what, someone is it robbing a bank stuff? or is someone is someone robbing a box? Like which which is it? How do you know? <laughs> maybe they got I mean, different. Maybe they got different lakes whistles <laughs> that, that the, let off a different pitch. Like that's um, <laughs> that was a C sharp. Someone's being know. raped. <laughs> Go get him, Fido. <laughs> I, I'm, I was, yeah. Anyway, that's just weird shit. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> While we're at that, yeah. this is why you should be listening to <laughs> to Wayne's Wayne podcast to hear more insightful thoughts and oh, um, and deep discussions such as the use of such whistles in the United Kingdom. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. The post chorus. Because I just set them up, just set them up, just set them up to knock them down. Because I set them up, just set them up, just set them up to knock them down. Hmm. Is he, like knocking people over or something? Sounds like it. Sounds like he's sneaking up behind Daisy seeing too. All these, <laughs> seeing all these girls walk past, he's pushing them over. Right? <laughs> <Yeah. Thank laughs> <God. laughs> Runs off into the bushes. <laughs> Yeah, setting them up. I'll give them a whistle, make them think they're all hot and attractive, and then I go and push them over. Pretty it's much, like cow tipping, it's like <laughs> urban cow tipping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're knocking down, but yeah, they're all about it. The chorus. Uh, I think I should know how to make love to something innocent. <laughs> Without leaving my fingerprints out. Now, L O V E's, just another word I never learned to pronounce. How do I say I'm sorry? Because the word is never going to come out. Now, L O V E's, just another word I never learned to pronounce. Hey, Nick. Yes. How do you pronounce L O V E? I never learned. <laughs> Take a stab. Take a stab. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to embarrass myself, uh, Bevo. Okay, yeah, for sure. Lose. Wait, you can have a go. Loathe. If you um, <clears throat> jail bait. <laughs> <laughs> jail <laughs> bait. <laughs> Pre prenump. I don't know. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> Baby mama. I mean, <laughs> oh. it's endless. This, is, uh, <laughs> this guy's going to need the shaggy defense real quick. I this think. is a red hot. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. This also, is the fact that you have... said you thought, before you said there was a post chorus, <laughs> and this is listed in on Genius as the chorus. Yes. I would have called the Daisy Dukes bit the chorus. They're all confused. They're There's sex crazed. They're in sex this. pests. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're running around like the chicken with the head cut off. Oh, this is the most. Um, uh, violent, vicious, bloodthirsty, disturbing chorus I've ever read in my entire life. He's talking how about... They, how did someone write the words, make love to something innocent, and yes. that get passed? And then Katy Perry's mm. like, can I get in on that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then her agent said, uh, there's these two white guys singing about... Um, making love to innocent things and then wiping their fingerprints from the scenario. And they're like, hmm, I'm in. <laughs> I think green light, green light, go ahead and do that. You should definitely sing those lyrics. That won't come back to haunt you at all. No. Um, so just because you can't pronounce the word love, that basically means that you can get away with doing whatever you want. That's the life lesson here. Damn. Yeah. Should never let that word. That's like Nick. He doesn't mm. know it. Guy's an animal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's like, I'm going to lose my business. Yeah, no comment. 
Um, all right, let's get into the the second verse. I'm sure the second they... chorus. Yeah, <laughs> or whatever they want. Yeah. To <laughs> I'm sure, look, I'm sure we're thinking about this all the wrong way and they're going to clarify it and it's all going to come out okay the other side. So yeah, I've got faith in 303 and Katy Perry and they're in Actually, three. Oh, three. <laughs> three. Oh, three. There's an next it's all one. a big uh, misunderstanding. I'm sure. I'm sure. Right. Okay, second verse. Uh, tight jeans, double Ds, making me go... <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> Not so much. We're back here. All the people on the street know whistling. (laughs) (laughs) Iced out, lit up, make the kids go whistling. (laughs) All the people on the street know whistling. Iced out, eh? What suburb of Sydney is she from? Oh, yeah. It's, um... (laughs) Maybe all the whistling is from um, the gaps in her teeth from all the ice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just how she, it's just how she pronounces words. <laughs> it's like a kettle boiling. <laughs> she just found herself in the UK whistling. I'm not being raped. I'm just trying to cross the street. <laughs> <laughs> we use whistles for everything over here, governor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is um, uh, it's a, it's a fucking po- problematic song. This one, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um. Okay. The pre-chorus, chorus. We're back to the um, defiling of the innocent and the fingerprints and whatnot. Um, what we got here. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we get to Katy Perry's verse. Uh, but. I just wanted to quickly tell you what the bridge from the original one was. Mm. The bridge from the original one that got cut so they could put Katy Perry's verse in goes, push it, baby, push it, baby, out of control. I got my gun cocked tight and I'm ready to blow on repeat over and over and over again. Yeah. What do you reckon they're trying to get at there? Um, (laughs) I don't know what they mean by that. um... By the evidence. Yeah, the there's a lot of murder mystery in these lyrics. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's like a game of Cluedo. It's in a lot of who, form. Do, who done it? Yeah. Was it the, was it the iced out kids on the street? <laughs> or was it Colonel Mustard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With his double Ds and his Daisy Dukes. <laughs> yeah. And his candlestick. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ready to blow. <laughs> Wax over everyone. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> the third verse now Katy Perry um, comes in needs to get her point across uh, you know that type of shit just don't work on me whistling and trying to flirt with me don't take this personally because we were never in love it doesn't really matter who you say you are singing out the window of your car Find another girl across the bar, cause L O V E's not what this was. <laughs> Terrible. <Brutal>. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> this screams of the whole like, uh, mm. look, fellas, this could be a hit, but we need to get someone like you know with any sort of reputation to get on it. And they're like, all right, well, she has to sing something in it. She can't just sing the chorus. So like, I'll oh, give her a verse. Yeah, this is fucking whipped up in. What three minutes before she entered the studio? Like, let's just get this. someone hot enough for the music video. No one listens to the words. <laughs> yeah, yes. This was. I know a... somebody. <laughs> yeah. She's actually got double D's and Daisy Duke. She's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> just a woman. Uh, it's it that actually makes so much sense that they do need a Katy Perry to come here and distract you from the fact that it's basically so. Uh, <laughs> They're predators, basically. Up until the, yeah. up until it doesn't the point, doesn't make it any better, does it? <laughs> no, but having Katy Perry sort of sing along with that sort of softens the blow. It does soften the blow a bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah. but Katy Perry said, yeah. But Katy, but, but, but Katy she, Perry said, Katy Perry, the role model for school children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. The one that talks guys, about California dreaming. Yeah, Katy Perry. Have you guys ever heard the, the, the rap verse in um, Dark Horse, which is her song? The first yeah. line is um, something, something. And then the second verse is, I'll eat. Or she'll eat your heart out like Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, God. Yeah. That's the line in the hit song. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not the, well, I, look, there's not enough Dharma quotes in modern music these days. It's so, like, yeah. Fair we enough. We need to do that. Yep. Unless you're Gavin. Yeah, that's no true. We, have, we did talk about Jeffrey Dahmer on another episode. And um, my brother <laughs> sent me a message when it came out. And he was furious that I didn't know that. He'd been beaten to death in jail with the leg of a chair. I'm like, mm. oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. He's you like, get some real like, you should know all that. Fans. Like, some fans out that. there of, of murderers, aren't there? <laughs> I'm a murderer. Oh, fan. Yeah, dude. yeah, I know oh, you. True, are. Co- true crime, true crime sells, sells. That's it. Um, yeah. So, just to clarify, Jeffrey Dahmer did die in jail because someone beat him to death with the leg of a chair. There Damn. you go. Probably would have preferred the leg of a person. <laughs> <laughs> Could have taken a bite while I was swinging around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this uh, is hot. This podcast is sponsored by Ghetto Bird Studio. Do you write music? Do you want people to hear it? Do you want your music to sound less shit than it does right now? If you answered yes to these questions, then you should record your music at Ghetto Bird Studio. We record all types of music. Rap, rock, hip-hop, jazz, jazz fusion, metal, electro, even country. We can't promise that your music won't be shit, but we can promise to make it sound less shit. Here's a before and after. Grab my body and spank my ass. Grab my body and spank my ass. Contact us now at ghettobirdstudio.com.au. Tell these haters. Non-stop music. Very dis- this is a very disturbing song. Um, it is dark. And this one's been on our list for a very long time. Someone requested this ages ago, and I never really thought about it. I'm like, I sort of remember that song, but I don't know. And then I was looking for songs to to do. I'm going through the list of what people have sent me. And I just pull the lyrics up real quick to see. And I'm like, oh, dear God. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Horrible. Horrible. Okay. So it's written by Sean Foreman and Nathaniel Mott, I guess, is how it's pronounced. Who are the two two members of 303. Um, They met Katy Perry. Because they were both playing at the 2008 Vans Warp Tour together. What? Um, yeah, and uh, apparently they got a very cool story behind why their band's called 303. Um, yeah, it's the area code for uh, the entire state of Colorado. Okay. It's fucking yeah, exciting, cool. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's why no one's heard come of on. them. Yeah. They come up with such bullshit <laughs> stories for why you name a song, you something, you do this. It's like, come yeah. up with a better story. You've got to come up yeah. with a better story than that. You yeah. have to. The government basically named their band. <laughs> 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 government-sanctioned band name. They're yeah. all about, like, anti-government, yet they're <laughs> called 303. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's stick it to the man. Mm-hmm. What are you called, 303? Where do you hail yeah. from? 303, dog. <laughs> 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 but, put, but put an exclamation point in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's different because we got Katy Perry. <laughs> so next album called Electorate. <laughs> Electorate. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, apparently, in 2010, retired professional wrestler Diamond Dallas Page filed a lawsuit against 303 for copyright infringement as his trademarked diamond cutter hand gesture, which is, uh, <laughs> even though this is like a audio podcast, it's sort of just this yeah. fucking thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. like. It's a bit uh, spider. Yeah, yeah. You know. so he's like, yeah. no, that's my hand gesture. It's like, all right, fucking diamond Dallas. You want your gang signs, you can have them. Um, Jeez. It got th- it got thrown out, but he had tried to sue Jay Z for the same thing as well, like uh, five years oh, yeah. before. How much funnier is any story if a professional wrestler gets involved? 
I know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon he dressed up in the full thing to go to court? <laughs> but all the glitter and the big hat and shit. Just choke just throw, slams the, just the throw, lawyer. Throw, <laughs> just throwing gang signs. Hit, hit someone over the fucking back with a chair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm calling the, the judge, first witness. The judge. Hey, brother. <laughs> no judge. Sneaks I up hold the judge. You in contempt. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I hold you in a chokehold. <laughs> uh, um, really cool fact about Sean Foreman, though. He's a fucking world champion. At, Fris- at what? At Frisbee. Oh, right. Yeah, see, that, uh, if that... he led with Frisbee, <laughs> then Wayne, we would have thrown out world uh, championship. Like, I'm not I'm not American, but you see this yeah. guy's face. Does this, this guy scream thing. ultimate Frisbee player? Yeah, yeah. Perfect physique for Frisbee. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, just because he has no social skills. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Other than stealing Diamond Dallas Page's goddamn signature <laughs> trademark. Yeah. See you in court. <laughs> yeah. He brought, you can use my trademark so long as you throw Frisbees for the rest of your natural life. <laughs> oh, and he's like, done. Frisbee. Done. Two years, two years later, he's a world champ. World champ. <laughs> he, um, he, he won the uh, junior really gold medal. <laughs> Team USA. In 2004, he also won the College Nationals in Ultimate Frisbee in 2004. God, uh, see, this is American sports right here, okay? <laughs> like, I know you guys pass the ball backwards, which is wrong, but... <laughs> like, gonna go, gonna go backwards and th- go forwards, mate. <laughs> we throw Frisbees, and it's and it's and you can get a national title for being the best at it. Do you reckon, Do you reckon he got a some scholarship? Point in his career, yeah, I was going to say, at some point in his career, Sean, it's 303. It's the fucking Frisbee, mate. What's it going to be? <laughs> he looks at the Frisbee. He looks at the fucking career. Frisbee, career. Throws the Frisbee really well, <laughs> mind you. 300 meters. <laughs> What if he like got super shitty? He's like, fine, I'll sing. And just like flung the Frisbee and that was the world record. <laughs> like, like, I bet I can throw a Frisbee over those mountains. for 303. <laughs> I was born to do this. <laughs> Where's the Frisbee and it's got like the holes in it. So it goes, whoo, whoo, and he's like, hang on. Oh. oh. <laughs> and that idea is upon me. That's the Nerf Frisbee right there. So yeah. Nerf has trademarked this song. Yeah. <laughs> They got another lawsuit coming. <laughs> I've heard that whistle before. Yeah, <laughs> um, uh. yeah that, uh, his college ultimate frisbee team is called Mama Bird. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. disappointing. Yeah, won't we'll be wearing their jersey. <laughs> nah, anytime soon. No. Nah, nah. Come on, nope. you can play frisbee. Come up with something better than Mama Bird. Um, it's produced, it's produced by Matt Squire. Now, at one point I was like, Matt Squire, I thought was like the best producer out there. He'd done like Under Oath and Panic at the Disco, fucking The Used, Taking Back Sunday, uh, Mm. Sum 41, all of that. But now he's gone on. Now he's hit the big time. He's doing like Ariana Grande, uh, One Direction, fucking, yeah. All, all the pop shit now. But 303 was this little thing he did. Um, I don't even know where to start, like, with the actual sound of this song. It's basically fucking random noises played with different amounts of distortion on it. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? This is a weird, what? obscure thing. Did you guys ever watch the show Angela Anaconda when you were kids? Hell yeah, I did. Which... <clears throat> <laughs> Rings a bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick's keen. Now he's like, yeah. oh, I'm here. I feel yeah, like it, just, <laughs> it was just designed as a show to be as annoying as humanly possible. Is it a kid's yeah. show? Yeah. It is a kid's show, yeah. And like all the characters were fucked and they were drawn. That's all kid shows. Comfortably weird. And yeah, it was just like, and listening to this song, I was like, this is the audio equivalent of that Angela Anaconda TV show. <laughs> Makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't like it. Yeah. I just, I, I'd want to hear an instrumental version of this just to be like, how fucking terrible is this song 
if you take away all the um like violence against women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it really hits rock bottom once that's gone. Yeah. <laughs> if the violence against women is the thing picking this song up, then, you know, you're really starting down in the fucking dirt. Really mm. starting down in the dirt. Um, There's a video for it, Bevo. Yeah. This is... I can't wait. Please tell me about the oh, video. Don't give me that pressure. Oh, right. it's going to be the best. Nicholas. Here's... The video facts from A to Z And they're coming at you straight from Ryan B It's a terrible song and I know you agree It's the music video summary With Bevo Oh, he didn't even oh ask. fucking Fuck. Jesus oh, I, I never know what you want me to do well, when you, you say my name hit it. Yeah, you're just clicking for no reason at all Hit it, Bevo! Fuck! He's meant you to tell it. you to hit it and then you click What the fuck are we doing here? Who am I hitting? Amateur hour Where's the women? <laughs> <Bush League. laughs> <laughs> do Ooh. all right here we go 303 discover that taking coins from the local fountain causes them to be irresistible to the opposite sex who rush in slow motion to be with them it can only be assumed the duo found an earlier fountain whose coins made them irresistible to shit hooks <laughs> <laughs> um mm-hmm. i i was thinking at first when when these guys just fucking <laughs> dig in you really, that's a pretty dangerous thing to do. You'd have to have a good look around and see who's in the park, wouldn't you? Well, it seems to me, this is probably an offensive thing to say, but it seems to me like they did a casting call for very average looking women. Oh, oh okay. Jesus. Uh, rough. For the okay. times, um, they, see, were uh, yeah. they were about eight. They were about eight. See you guys. Uh, we'll have to go, Nick. We'll have to stop the podcast. Um, I, I don't agree. Uh, I don't. I don't think that was okay don't to condone. say. Uh, and that's not what we're about on this podcast. Um, Beverage will be standing down. Uh, <laughs> I'm really sorry. What are you fucking talking about? What do you mean? What if they were just looking? like looking for women that were hot enough to be hot, but not too hot to not, bad, not like, be punched like, in the face? They could <laughs> outdo Katie. <laughs> it's like, Maybe yeah, she's it. hot, but. I could see her getting punched in the face still yeah. for being a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Look, these yeah. guys are ready to snap at any minute. Their yeah. song is basically about like yeah. stalking and harming women. So yeah. look, uh get find some women that are happy to work with these two. Um <laughs> if they they bra, no bra, what whatever they want, but they just need to run. Yeah. Tell them the lyrics first the and if they're still keen. <laughs> if they're still keen, them then then yeah. bring them along, let them see them. Um, look into their eyes. Tell them they might meet <laughs> Katy Perry. Yeah, there are just a bunch of lesbians. Like, there's two dudes, but there's Katy Perry, and there's then like Katy fucking, Perry. Oh yeah, there's a fountain. I'm already wet. You know, like let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um... there's also something very questionable about the idea of like women having no agency over whether they're attracted to these guys or not just because they've picked up some coins in the fountain. Also, the That's sexy a... music they're singing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These guys are like the new prince. Bloody irresistible. <laughs> um, why doesn't Katy Perry want to fucking go on a snow trip with these guys? Like, just fucking grabbing the skis and going, going, for, t- going for broke. <laughs> well, just the lyrics she... state yeah. that... Uh... Why? But she she's saying? so she doesn't. She's not affected by the magic of the coins. She's immune somehow. Yeah, she's, she has uh, common sense. Is that where's what? the story? Mm. Like, where's she's that in the story? With... They really needed to build that up and explain. Because I'm all the, the whole time you're watching it. I'm just like, Katy Perry is about to wank these two off. Like, when's that happening? Look at all the she coins. She was double in fist in their faces, pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. She licks one of them at, at one point. It was it was super uncomfortable. Like. Yeah, especially when you got all these other women running at them the whole time. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. But she's immune to it, and I want to know how. Is there some sort of gem? Did she find some sort of gem in a cave somewhere? Well, she picks up the poker chip in the in the fountain. Right, and then the guy runs after her. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. right. Oh, so she, she, she's, she's after degenerate it. gamblers. <laughs> so she's flipped it and reversed it. So she's straight up stealing from Missy Elliott. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Timberland. Do you have any YouTube comments for this? Um, I've got, I've only got one, but all the ones I found were basically people, which is funny because Wayne called it early. Heaps of the comments are about, this is how I found out I was a lesbian. Oh, sorry. Heaps of, no, like that's a genuine thing that is, if you go through the YouTube comments of this, there's so many things that are like, uh, I didn't know I was a lesbian until I (laughs) saw this. And I realized I couldn't stop watching Katy Perry the whole time. But it doesn't, doesn't mean you're a lesbian. Like, I think that's the whole point of the fucking film clip is that you can't stop watching Katy Perry. Like, yeah, it's not to watch the guys. Was Katy Perry immune because she already had contracted an STD? And all the other ones had <laughs> Lightning doesn't strike twice. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's They're right. like, I haven't got that one yet. Yeah. <laughs> But Katy Perry's like, I'm good. That's why she was comfortable being so close to him. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no social distancing whatsoever there. No, no. not at all. Yeah, she's, she's licking the bloody from... um, the, the semen right off their face. <laughs> yeah. When I see a dude with long hair like that, I just assume that it's got matted cum all the way through it. <laughs> it from... the <laughs> Got one from here, here from Jump Cut Films four months ago. The short haired guy looks like the other guy's lawyer. <laughs> he does! The other guy looks like a sex pest, and that does look like his lawyer. 100%. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You wonder how these two met in the wild. Weird. Um, <laughs> do you have a 303 set list? I sure do. Um, oh, no. it's, as, as it, it's as recent as the 1st of June, 2021. Oh, Fuck, Jesus. it's still going. What? That's yeah. fresh as shit. At the Red Rocks Amphitheater Get in Colorado. Fuck, these two are playing Red Rocks. Mm. What is the world mm. coming to? It is a 19-song okay. set list with such songs oh. as... Um, such songs as Inside Boy, uh, My Dick. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, that's my favorite one. And one of my favorites, Holler Till You Pass Out. Yeah, you got a holler till you pass out. Yep. Jesus. <laughs> Where are you playing Starstruck in your 19 song set list? Oh, fuck. Well, they're definitely not getting Katy Perry for the live show. Mm-mm. Um, oh, I reckon it's going to be mid mid set, like 11, 12, somewhere around there. What do you reckon, you guys? How many songs were there? 19. 19. Fuck. On 17th. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, dude. All, I mean. I'll go a dollar, Bob. No, I'll just say it's nine, 19 because that I that's the only one I've fucking heard of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't think they're going to close with my dick? Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to close with? Put it in her ass? No way, dude. <laughs> my dick. That's normally how I close. Dick, her ass. <laughs> you got to leave them wanting more, so it's my dick. <laughs> um. First, they open the set with Starstruck. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Dogs. Strong f- dogs. <laughs> Fucking dogs. <laughs> I'll get you, 303. Because <laughs> that asked the crowd, do you really want to stick around for the rest? No, nah, no, nah, you're getting out of there, beating the traffic. If you thought that was yeah, good, right. wait till you hear this. <laughs> wait till you get a load of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> For this, uh, this <laughs> next song is called My Dick oh, God. <laughs> And then dance around like a fucking idiot Oh, uh, oh good on him um, Okay <laughs> Legacy, it peaked in the top 10 uh, In Australia, Belgium Finland, Poland Ireland and the UK um, That's it <laughs> That's all it did <laughs> Their net worth You want to guess what their net worth is in 2021, Bevo? Oh, well, they're still touring, so I'm going to say 10 mil. Mm. Eight. I'm going to go eight. Eight, yeah. Ooh, all right. What do you reckon, Wayne? Dude, I'm lowballing it. I'm going like 2.4. <laughs> 2.4 mil each. Yeah. Are we they're talking eight? Each? They're worth eight million each. Mm. Fuck Nick, no. really? I win. I win. Yeah. I win. Damn. That's a lot of money, I thought. For <laughs> I'd take eight million. Have you got a Discogs yeah. on this one, Nick? I do. I got the cogs. 
Uh, on the uh, on the vinyl, the album's called Want, by the way. Of course, it's it is. Want, want yeah. my dick. Yeah, want. <laughs> so, <laughs> how many uh, how many want and how many have the want. Uh, how many want? Sorry, vinyl. let me just correct you quickly. My dick is on Night Sports. Oh, want. sorry. I was thinking <laughs> it's not on Want. Oh, it would have been so much better if it was sorry, on Want. Scrap it. Damn. Yeah, Bevo. How many have it and how many want it? I'm going to say this one's a low, this is a low ball. I'm going to say 12 people have it, 50 people want it. Oof. Uh, Wayne? Uh, five and 10. Chirps? Uh, 4,000 and 16,000. <laughs> <laughs> Close, but you're way off. Uh, 134 want it, 210 have it. Sorry, oh, wow. can you explain to me why does someone hit want on it when you could just buy it? Because people who collect vinyl are fucking idiots. Oh, it's one of those things I think they notify you when one comes up for sale. It's on your like want list. Are they for sale? They are. There are some for sale. So why it's are there a, people that ba- want no, it? No, it's like a secondhand market kind of thing. If people list it, yeah. it's not like a record shop. It's like it's like eBay for records. Right. It's trying to justify but you could just go and buy it somewhere, couldn't you? Yeah, if it's out of print, you can go to a right website now. where you can't buy it. I could add it to cart for fifty nine well, pounds. Like, might be that kind of thing where it's like um, you make your little uh, wish list, your Amazon wish list, and you send people um, your underwear, and they give you three or three records. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Huh? You know, uh, I, don't I don't know. I'm imagine if, imagine if someone like was on the want list, and then like later in life they try to run for office, and then someone brought that up, and they're like, um, ten years ago, <laughs> you listed that you wanted a three hundred three album. My you want dick. this person running the country, <laughs> cranking my dick. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> that is such a fucking good call. That would Can come you, up, dude. Oh, if you could do some real like fucking detective yeah, work on what people some have liked. Deep ass research, yeah, yeah. man. It's like, <laughs> I've got some heavy hitting shit and gonna bring this up. This man conference. turned twelve hundred women gay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have tight jeans or double Ds? You may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> oh, have you got a flat ass but still want to wear Daisy Dukes? Well, you're not in luck. <laughs> Is it true that you don't know the word love? <laughs> Do you have trouble pronouncing the, the word lo- love? <laughs> Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> no. uh, let's let's rate this shit. Motherfuckers, this is it. Now it's time to rate this shit. Ah, uh, all right, all right, all right. What are we gonna rate this out of? Um, um, coins, wishing well coins. <laughs> How many Sweet. wishing well coins uh, out of 10? 10 being uh, you've picked 10 coins out of the fountain, but the only people in the park were um, fucking uh, my 300 pound life contestants. So they ran and then dived on you and you were smothered to death. Mm. One being you picked it out and. Um, you got to go spend it on one of those little vending machines where you can buy bouncy balls. Sounds good. That's pretty okay. good. Yeah. Okay. What do you give this out of 10, Bevo? Oh, 10. I told you. <laughs> 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 I think you said that we in the 30-second mark. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're straight into it. Um, straight in. So straight I listened in. to yeah, this this morning up. on my daily walk as mm. my little research. Did it ruin the walk for you? Adventure. And, the well... I was nearly home, so it's okay. <laughs> but um, at, like I heard the first maybe ten seconds, I went, "This is a ten, but it has exp- it has a chance to get better." It started and, at a ten. 
It started at 10. It's, yeah. yeah. It, and then the whistling, and I was like, no, no. Oh, I know the whistling gets you, Bevo. And then it's I know like it does. that whole set them up to knock them down bit, and I was like, yeah. yeah. No, this is this has yeah. no chance of redemption. <laughs> Enough. Okay, ten. Nick, what do you give it? No, as per my previous appearances on the podcast, I normally rate them on how horny they make me. Um, yeah, that's and after, true. I know that. After watching the video, it went from like a ten to like a one, six and, and a half. <laughs> six and a half. Six Katie Perry is pretty hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There is a no, bit she of she doesn't talk about where she. Gets like soaked. Oh, oh she does. I'm going to yeah. need an exact timestamp on that one. <laughs> <laughs> He'd finished before it got to that part. Just yeah. forward it through yeah. to everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, okay, six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah. Like, it makes you pretty horny. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Wayne. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have to agree because. Uh, as soon as they say Daisy Dukes and Double Ds, like I have a pretty vivid imagination, and I was just, I just kind of, no it just transported me to my own space. Yeah, um, happy sp- a safe happy space. space, happy space, uh, safe space. So me and Nick are just chilling yeah. on the couch, right, <laughs> in our own spaces. Uh, he's not touching me. I'm not touching him. No Dutch rudders going on. <laughs> We're just in in our space, but no, seriously, means. like, <clears throat> and and then like my my thing with Katy Perry when she goes, I set them up to knock me down or t- to knock them down. I was just thinking, she wants to get my dick hard so she can sit on it and make it limp. <laughs> <laughs> I I know what you're doing, Katy. Right. So I'm like, I'm all for it. So I'm like, this a is seven. the thing. It's all a trick. She doesn't <laughs> want that at okay. all. all right. All right. She wants <laughs> you to think that she wants that. Have you have you seen me lately? <laughs> <laughs> this man's in lockdown. I... <laughs> <laughs> all right, a seven, a seven. Uh, yeah, yeah, just because it's nostalgia too. Nostalgia points for um when I was growing up. Yeah, fair enough. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna jump on Bevo's train here and give it a big old fucking ten. I don't want to listen to it ever again. It's if it like came a... if it came on the radio, I'd fucking turn it off instantly. It's like if yeah. the Lonely yeah. Island took themselves seriously. Yes, very it much. So. It's like it's yeah. supposed to be a joke, but it's not. Yeah, mm. and Katy Perry couldn't even save it for me. Like mm. because to be honest, I'm not gonna watch the film clip that much. But if, if it came on the radio or I had to listen to it on the Spotify playlist, I'd be so fucking cut. Damn. I'd just be like, no. What if no, that, no, it was, no. What if it come on as the ad and you couldn't skip it? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Like that would do like that they should do that because then everyone would buy premium. You're like, there's no way I'm listening to that. <laughs> Not again. No. You, <laughs> too, you, diabol- <laughs> you diabolical motherfucker. How can I pay to make it stop? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just have to research these shit songs bitch, you've like done it again. That <laughs> <laughs> well, if they're fucking listening to everything I say, I'll let you know if I start getting lots of fucking ads for yeah. Starstruck Cuck Cuck Cuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, thanks, Heaps Wayne. Nerf, yeah, dude. Bebo. Bye, cunts. Uh, everyone Eating. get fucked. Um, and yeah, fuck off. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Crack of the goat. <laughs> Get a goat up ya. Get it in your butt. It's <laughs> <laughs> normally where I put them. Yeah. It's their quick out, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's a party does. trick. Chug, yeah. chug, chug. Yeah. People yell that. You just start shoving up your ass and make it yeah. really, really awkward in the room. Oh, oh, it's my 21st oh, and man. fucking families everywhere. Yeah. Grandma's oh, I think just the like, oh, broke. Oh, no. like, me next, me next. <laughs> Come on, kids. Get out of that bouncy castle. <laughs> Grandma wants to go. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to shove it up straight up our coochies. (laughs) It's all about butt stuff these days. 
Hey, you. Yeah, you. No, not that guy. You, idiot. Need a favour. Do you reckon you could, like, subscribe, follow and review 1001 songs that make you want to die wherever you get your podcasts? That'd be really good. Just, you know, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts, just do it there. And if you don't, then we'll have to assume that you hate orphans, um, which would be terrible. Uh, but, you know, obviously you don't. So why don't, j- just, just leave us a review. All right, do the right thing. Give back for once, you idiot.